But today I thought... Did I just mess up the opening line? Get it together, rookie. So today I thought I'd shoot just a real quick uh, old trail camera prep, get ready, strategies, thoughts around running these trail cameras. I think we have messed up trail cameras oh, in the last year more than anybody in the timber um, and we had a fair amount stolen, but we, we do have a process and, and maybe a small method of the madness. This is an area I'm trying to improve upon. So yeah, let's get to it. So trail cameras, we have messed up a lot of these, but I try to take a couple of extra precautionary steps that, that I thought I'd share and maybe some thoughts around what I'm doing prior to setting these out that maybe will help you um, really it's just what I got going on. So one, I run alkaline batteries in the summer. I know everyone screams about these lithiums, but with the price of, it's like a dollar 10 is a good price on a lithium battery when you can pick up alkalines anywhere from 20 to 30 cents a battery. I just, I, I not affording to do that right now. I will use lithiums late in the season, especially if I need to fill a buck tag and I need that information. Um, two, uh, something I am doing right now is I have the time and I'm turkey hunting in the same woods I plan to deer hunt this fall. I'm going to go ahead and deploy these cameras uh, just because I'm already down there. I've already spent the gas. Um, it is later in turkey season, so hopefully there's less people in the woods. This turkey season, it has been packed. Um, something else I'm doing is I am prioritizing, oh, my better cameras are in more highly valuable spots. I run a mixed bag. I, obviously, the best camera I currently have access to is the Lone Wolf Custom Gear camera. That being said, I still have my older, oh, I've got some older Coverts, I've got some older um, Exodus, and I will use those. And generally, we use the mounts. Uh, we've had really good luck with the stick and picks. The HMEs, you can pick them up, and they're just not as good. Um, once you get those sets elevated, you know, you do tend to have some errors. But what else am I doing here the night before? One, I am grabbing SD cards, making sure they are in every camera. They are reformatted so that they work. I test that these cameras work. I make sure I've got all brand new batteries. And I try to troubleshoot as much as this stuff the day before because, because you know, when the weekend gets here and I've got the time, I need to be getting these cameras out because anytime you go to put cameras out, I feel like it takes longer than expected. Um, the other thing I am doing this year is is I heavily scout with, with, with my Onyx where I try to map out, okay, I need cameras, I'm casting this net here because of the priorities of my winter scouting or year over year intel. And I am trying to, I've got enough cameras at this point just from acquiring them that if I step out of the truck or if I park the truck, I'm trying to get two cameras out, whether I have to go to the other side of the road or the same walk into a piece. I'm actually trying to run these trail cameras in the big woods, a few of them close to the roads where I can have access to them without spending hours walking. Um, I ran a trail camera literally 10 yards off a of forest road last year, and I actually got a lot of deer on camera. I didn't have any good bucks, and I don't know if that's just a... Uh, that's TBD. I don't know if that really works. I got a lot of deer on camera, I will say that, on a frequent basis, but I literally only had one two and a half year old in October and that camera was out there all summer into October. So that is a couple quick tips. I have actually mapped out my route on Onyx where I can be most efficient because I'm not really, I don't care about turkeys this Saturday. If I hear some, I'll go after them, but my main mission is to get out my cameras. And I've literally mapped my, myself out to be maximum efficient. I think at that point I'll have a good net. I'm literally parking here, this side of the road. Come, move the truck a little bit, boom, this side of the road, dive in on here. I actually am trying some mock scrapes. Let me, so full disclosure, I don't know if this stuff works. I've been talking to Troy Pottinger about some of this buck fever synthetic. Clearly I know what I'm doing. I told him I haven't bought since piss of any sort in like eight years. But some of this stuff, uh, uh, you sp it's got some forehead gland stuff. It's got some deer piss. Hell, I'll pay in on myself. Um, but uh, I have marked some of these like year over year scrapes. And I try to also look at, sometimes I'm marking these, these heavy deer trails that are close to the road as a pinch point. So that's my strategy in the big woods. Wanted to throw together just a real quick um, video journal here. Oh, uh, of what we got going on. 